doing another cheese tasting. This time it's very young Wensleydale, so I'm not sure what I'm to expect. It's only about six weeks old. And I thought I would weigh it this time. I forgot to do it the last time. 1.5 kilos. Three pounds, five ounces. My very hubbly <laughs> Wensleydale. I had problems getting the uh, curd to compact into a nice smooth cheese. It stayed sort of in lumps no matter how much weight I put on it. and try to quarter this if it doesn't fall apart on me. Very solid. You're seeing an excellent view of my arm, I'm sure. cut into chunks anyway. I've sort of been nibbling already on little pieces that fell off. It's been so long since I've had Wensleydale. Like, it's going to be a new taste to me. I can't remember what it's supposed to taste like. Young cheese, it has a nice flavor. Something in the range of a, a very mild cheddar, I guess I would call it. I'm sure that I will shrink wrap at least three of those pieces and uh, put it back in the cheese fridge to age some more, see if it improves in flavor. Well, for six weeks it's not bad at all. It has a nice nice flavor, not sharp in any way. I would call it similar to a very mild cheddar. And I didn't use any coloring, the annatto, what makes most cheeses yellow. I find that uh, I can taste it. Uh, if you are using it in the amounts that is suggested in the recipe, I can I can taste something that I'm assuming is the annatto, and I've had that confirmed by another home cheese maker, Andy in Australia. He can taste it too. So I stopped using annatto. Most of my cheeses are now very white. Well, thank you for watching. There's another cheese cut and tasted. <laughs>